mom just cause you hollered You grab my hand just cause you wanna Tour around all up in your Honda Taking turns, we just hit the corner Good morning everyone It's just Steven and I today Boy trip! It is We're at the base of Monserrate We got tickets the other night online For the cable car ride up It's about a 4 minute ride up the hill looks crazy daunting. You can actually walk it. It's about an hour walk, but we don't have much time because I've got a lunch wedding rehearsal thing to go to. Steven's got to go back and take care of Linda because she's feeling unwell. It's supposed to come with us originally, so we actually have an extra ticket. And then Chantal's at a wedding rehearsal. The tickets themselves were about seven US dollars. I bought it online, so it was in USD, but you can buy them here as well. There's a little bit of a queue, but it's not too bad. We don't know what to expect when we get to the top, but I heard there's really good views, and of course, it is a popular spot for Catholics. We're crammed in now into the funicular. I've never heard of that word before. Basically a cable car. It kind of reminds me of the tram in Victoria's Peak in Hong Kong. There's 80 people on board, or that's the max capacity. It feels pretty tight, not gonna lie. Also, when you buy the tickets online, it's for a time slot. It's every half hour. We were late because of insane traffic from the hotel, but uh, we originally had it for 9.30. We got here at like 9.40, and they don't really question it. So I think it's just to kind of stagger it, but regardless of what time you have, you should be able to just get on. Ride the coast like in California, not too long since that I've known your son so hard. It hit like a sauna, not so it's a pretty smooth ride. Uh, feels a little uneasy because you're like trying to balance. There's a couple handlebars that you can basically grab onto, but it's straight up, so it's not like there's any turns or anything. Really cool views because you actually have like a skylight, so you're facing the city and you can see all of it. So hopefully, if you do come, it's on a clear day. Uh, there's a lot of visibility today, so we're lucky. And the sun is out, so it feels quite nice and warm too. The total ride is about four minutes to get to the top. What do you think, Steven? It's pretty cool. Like, the view going up the mountain is really pretty. Like, you almost like you go through a little tunnel that cuts into the mountain, which is really nice. It's much cooler up here. Probably 10 degrees cooler. Bring a jacket. Yeah. So, Bogota is a pretty high up city. So, it's a high altitude city. Uh, when you're up here, you're even higher altitude. So, you'll notice that even after you take a couple steps up a hill, you're gonna feel like you're out of breath. Crash like a tidal wave. Better get out of my way. Next, we gonna hear you say, You're headed up to my place. If you guys need to use the restroom, make sure you use it before you come up here because you have to pay in order to use it. It's about one Colombian peso or or in cash, yeah. Past house, sleeping sideways, in heart, rolling my flame. They like hearing my name. Your turn, homie, my game. Imagine walking up an hour up this mountain that we took a vertical cable car up and then still having more hills to climb to get to the chapel at the top. I'm out of breath. It's worth it though. Yeah. Very really pretty. Make sure to bring water too. Water. Stay hydrated. El éxito en la cirugía de Lilia María García, María del Rosario González Díaz. It's about 11 o'clock right now, and we heard some music go off on the speakers, and I think we just made it in time for a mass. So they're actually doing a mass a service right now in the uh, church. Hey, 
the funicular was really packed and as we were walking up we were like where is everyone first off it was probably because there's this mass going on so i imagine a lot of people are in there but we got to the very top where the entrance to the church is and everyone is here because the view is gorgeous Okay, we've made it to the top, or at least we thought it was, but there's more stairs behind the church. It's going up. Yeah. And there's food stalls too, and also tour kiosks. And I see a bunch of souvenirs, so I don't know how far this goes up, but I could have sworn it just stops here. But let's keep exploring. Okay, we originally said it's colder and to bring a jacket. Don't. Only. <laughs> Only in the, in the morning. It's, it is definitely cooler up here, but the, the sun definitely comes down on you. Yeah, it's hot. Bring sunscreen, if anything. People do come. It opens, the funicular opens at 5 a.m., so I hear there's a beautiful sunrise. So yes, I think at that time, maybe bring a jacket. Yeah, and then maybe if you come out for sunset, then bring a jacket also, because it gets cold. Oh, I'm sure, yeah, yeah. for sure. So there's a whole section of restaurants and some of them have really nice views with windows facing the mountains uh, but if you walk through all of it then you get to a much quieter area and it's pretty much like a hike Dip you down like chips in the salsa. Villa's home, we rode off to Tampa. Pass me on another Corona. Sunday's cold, so sweet like vanilla. Not gonna stop till we hit the agua. We're about to make our way back down, and we found a side stairway on the left of the church. And I think that's how you go up and down if you were taking the stairs. So we're not going down. We gonna make it to the islands. Look back as you smile. How much time do we just spend out here? Uh, just under an hour. We pretty much walked all of it. We stayed for the duration of the mass actually. And now we're gonna make our way back down the mountain. Uh, not walking because we did round trip funicular. So we're gonna take that back down. All right, we just got back down and uh, it's about 11.30. When we got here, there was no queue whatsoever to get into the funicular. But now, as you can see, later in the day, it gets a bit busier. And there's a big tour group also coming. But apparently there's cable cars too. Yeah. Oh, those are the cables. Somewhere there. So cable cars also run we haven't seen them though. You said it might be closed. Yeah, I think they're closed for today. Ah, uh, okay. They're not, they're not operating right now. Evening. It is like 8 p.m. right now, and we are sitting outside of a popular chain restaurant in Colombia called Crepes and Waffles. It was recommended to us by several of our Colombian friends, actually. So we're gonna have crepes and waffles for dinner. like construction going on next door and like uh, I think they're just knocking out the electricity because the whole block just went completely dark and first thing I thought was oh it's someone's birthday second thing I thought was we're gonna get robbed <laughs> but we're okay <laughs> 